بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. I'll be discussing a master degree in Asr al Ain next Thursday under the supervision of Dr. Omar Wadi. The name of the candidate is Muhammad Ali. We'll be we'll we 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 will be discussing local block for posterior fossa surgery. The points that I find in his M S thesis, I found a mistake in the in the beginning of the beginning of the of the thesis regarding he 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 put a special item on his cover which is not important and he's been using sometimes and he sees in an English term and in an American terms sometimes. Especially in the beginning of the uh, cover of the uh, MS. Page 12, he mentioned the, the face, uh, faces pain recording, which is confined to children, uh, which is not important in our thesis because our thesis has been uh, undergone in adults. So I will discuss with him such a point. Why did he mention it? And he didn't mention the visual analog skin in a wide range or in a, in a, in a diagram uh, showing it. In uh, page 14, he mentioned ketamine, though in the references it's, uh, it, is, uh, it is talking about uh, keto lac. Uh, page 17, he, mentioned, he began the, uh, the paragraph by 90% in a numerical uh, item, which is wrong, of course, you must Re, uh, write it as uh, 90%. Also, in page 35, he uh, wrote uh, at the beginning of the paragraph 2 a numerical instead of writing it as 2. Uh, in page 27, he mentioned all the types of local and anesthetic, whether Easter or Amid, but he forgot to mention the Vivo people became. And he didn't mention how to treat the toxicity of cubidicane, which is the main item of his thesis. Page 34, there was abbreviations, though it, it was not written in his abbreviations, such as uh, CBC, the complete uh, blood count, and the liver function tests. Page 36, I want to, to, to know how that uh, does his uh, machine, uh, anesthetic machine, has the privilege to control the uh, oxygen uh, concentration to be 50%. I wanted to ask him about uh, the, the head pinning during the prompt position, how it is done. Uh, I want to ask why did he uh, combine his lidocaine with adrenaline, uh, epinephrine, though it, is, uh, it does not uh, increase its uh, duration much. I wanted to ask about why did he inject or he spread a socking that you by xylocaine and he didn't mention the amount and why and he, he didn't mention why did he do it. Is it a routine uh, method to incise such patients? I want to also to uh, to uh, understand why didn't he uh, write anything about the, the type of the syringe pump where he used fentanyl, or he didn't write anything about the river he came uh, used as regard the company uh, which made it as AstraZeneca. I wanted also to uh, mention uh, how did he use fentolamine whenever the blood pressure is increased. Uh, it's not much used in Egypt. We always use mostly uh, trileme, trileme. I'm sorry. Uh, and of course, uh, you must not use uh, a vasodilator before opening uh, the dura. Of course, you must put in our in, the, um, in our mind that uh, the prone position definitely uh, decreases the incidence of air embolism, but it does not abolish it completely. Because uh, in this such a situation, the head also is elevated uh, somewhat from the level of the heart. Also, I want to remind him uh, about what did the surgeon do 
to inject the local anesthetic or the uh, buzz, the, the pressure uh, uh, on the line of in incision. Third, page 36, 30, I'm sorry, 38. He mentioned that the pupils are small. I don't know whether it is right to say small or contracted. And in page 39, he, 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 he mentioned that he, he will be using naloxone whenever uh, there is delayed recovery from uh, narcotics, which we don't use much. 53, page 53. He mentioned also, while he was discussing his thesis with others, he wrote in, in a paragraph uh, some authors he didn't mention in his paragraph who are the, the authors that uh, agree with his, uh, his results. Also, he mentioned a paragraph, uh, a strange, uh, a strange uh, sentence in the fourth paragraph. I wanted to know why did, why, what did he mention, mean by it? And then we can, when, whenever we come to the references, I always uh, check about writing ETL in the references, which uh, you must, of course, write uh, as much as you can of the uh, 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 of the authors participating in this study, though I know that you must not exceed more than six. After that, you use ETL. Of course, there are many uh, references with missing pictures, uh, missing uh, numbers. And whenever you write a reference from a book, you must uh, mention uh, the publisher, the place of publishing, and the edition, and the volume of edition, uh, including also the pages and the volume or the chapter. On page 51, of course, he wrote a reference by Russian, the Russian language, which uh, he had to, uh, of course, translate it. And then uh, the, I, I will check, I'll be checking out the, 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 the date of the references, whether it is recent or uh, old. It is interesting to ask him about what we call uh, idiogenic uh, osmoles. Idiogenic osmoles it, are, uh, it is a way in which the osmotic uh, diuretics work of course by grabbing water from the cells as regard uh, being uh, uh, having or having an osmolarity more than what's inside the cell more than 30 uh, hundred millimole per liter so sometimes the chlorine is being shifted into the shrunken cerebral tissue, uh, counteracting this effect. This, at that time, we call that the uh, osmotic diuretic have a rebound effect. This, this, uh, this is an explanation of what uh, happens. Of course, during the uh, prone position in such a lengthy operation, he had to mention what were the complications post-operative regarding uh, the central artery uh, affection uh, of the retina, retinal central artery affection. And he had to mention uh, that he shifted on the optic nerve because uh, much hypotension can, can affect the uh, optic nerve. And I, I would like to ask him, uh, could, uh, could air embolism happen in, uh, in the prone uh, position? And then whenever he used the Rochmond agitation sedation score, he always scoped or he was biased to the group uh, who had local or had uh, fentanyl instead of uh, local anesthesia. By the way, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to tell you that the study was being done on 40 patients. Uh, where 20 pa patients uh, undergone uh, occipital uh, block. Uh, containing the greater and the lesser and the uh, third occipital nerve blocks for posterior fossa and a group uh, where we used uh, fentanyl uh, by syringe pump uh, to co for compensation so he made a, 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 a comparison be between both groups. Uh, when we come to this slide it shows how do we uh, induce a, a great 
and the lesser occipital uh, nerve block for the tissue fossa. You see, can see that the, 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 the anesthetist tries uh, those a line uh, extending uh, from the mastoid, passing by the external uh, occipital pretopornis. And this line is uh, the line where I'm going to uh, use to block the two nerves. The superior uh, occipital nerve is almost in the midline, and uh, we will inject below the, uh, the line, as we see, after we bend the, uh, the needle of the syringe, 60-90%, uh, and then we go down or slightly, and then we inject in a fan way. Uh, also, the, uh, uh, the lesser occipital nerve is being blocked behind the mastoid uh, uh, process, as we see. Uh, it, it supplies uh, the, the posterior lateral where the uh, great uh, occipital nerve supplies the posterior media. This slide shows also the blockade of the two types of the nerves. And uh, as you see, this is the, the point of the uh, sonography as, 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 as far as I know. Uh, uh, the occipital blo block indications uh, are not just for block, uh, blocking the posterior fossa, but also we have what we call occipital neuralgia. We have uh, uh, injuries from a whip uh, uh, lash, uh, and of course we have headaches, occipital headaches. In all such conditions, uh, we use uh, occipital uh, uh, block to alleviate such problems. In anatomy, as we said, the uh, the, the, uh, the posterior, the posterior, the, the great uh, occipital nerve. I'm sorry, comes from the dorsal. Remind whether where the uh, lesser uh, occipital comes from the ventral remi of uh, uh, cervical two and three. Uh, when, when whenever we do a block, of course, for such a, uh, the situation we mentioned before, we always uh, use with the local Debo steroid to uh, hasten or to increase the uh, efficacy of the local. So, of course, as we said before, the imaginary line. We divide the imaginary line into thirds. So uh, uh, we have three thirds, and then we inject the great occipital nerve through the junction between the, uh, the medial and the, and, the, and, the, and the middle third, where we inject the lesser uh, between the uh, middle and the third lateral uh, third in a cephalid direction. Uh, after reaching the bone, hitting the bone, and then we withdraw and we inject from three to three to five centimeters of local anesthetic, and then uh, uh, we uh, we go downwards further in the middle line also uh, downwards uh, caudally to block the third uh, occipital nerve. Complications occurred in such technique. Uh, and we discovered uh, up to uh, a fainting and loss of consciousness as hypoxemia. And we find that around the patient had a previous uh, operation on the occipital bone, which was removed. So it, 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 in this situation, you must check uh, the history of the patient. This also, as we see, the landmarks of the block. And we can see that the lesser occipital nerve is emerging between the semispinalis muscle and the splenous muscle as we, as we see. Uh, from the landmarks that we discover post-operative whenever we have a, a persistent hypertension post-operative, though we are using uh, medication to, 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 to lower the blood pressure, in, in, in case of this uh, 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 persistent uh, occurrence, we must put in our mind that there is a possibility of edema or brain uh, stem uh, affection. This is why you must uh, refer uh, to the CT to, uh, to, to make sure of it. Of course, sometimes in acoustic neuroma, we use uh, the base, uh, the, uh, the brain stem uh, evoke potential to, uh, to, to check uh, the course of the uh, auditory uh, nerve. Uh, the nerve 8, whenever they are nearby, to guard, uh, to guard against its injury, uh, especially uh, during extubation. We monitor the cranial nerves, as you see from the uh, figures, uh, because 
uh, the, the, the surgeon is being, uh, uh, or he is operating in a very tiny area where uh, any bleeding or any retractor can affect uh, such areas. And we sometimes uh, try to, uh, to check the facial nerves by electromyography. This is, at that time, we, we need not to give much muscle relaxant. Uh, but we, 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 can, we can assure that the ulnar nerve can do a, a good job uh, giving hint about the facial nerve, which is much sensitive to muscle relaxant than the ulnar nerve. The uh, lower uh, cranial nerves affection after posterior fossa tumor up to uh, affection the bulbar and affection the uh, upper airway uh, uh, patency and uh, the division uh, patency uh, it's affecting affected in a, a grade of five percent. Of course, damage of the respiratory center during the operation has been detected by. Uh, cardiovascular changes. In the old times, uh, we used to put the patient uh, spontaneously instead of uh, control to detect any changes in the rhythm of respiration. Electromyography, as we mentioned before, is important to check uh, the facial nerve. Sometimes uh, the neuroanesthetists use the, re the, re the zero point at the level of the external auditory uh, meatus instead of the uh, right atrium uh, to check the cerebral perfusion pressure. Uh, well, for the osmotic di 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 diuretics to work, you must have an, uh, an amount of, uh, of osmols in the circulation uh, in the figure of from 300 to 350 millimole, uh, milliosmol per liter so that it can work. Sometimes they don't use the uh, right internal jugular for, for, for C CVP uh, measurement uh, because it may affect the drainage of the brain. We can see uh, on the right side the anatomy of the uh, posterior fossa where I think that he had to uh, draw it because it gives us a, 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 an idea about the, the, the very small, tiny uh, and, and compact uh, place. Of course, and in, 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 in number one, as you see from, uh, from the, from the uh, slide, uh, the, the anterior uh, uh, anatomy is being uh, 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 denoted by uh, the, what we call the posterior, the dorsal stella, stella, the dorsal stella uh, of the siphonoid bone, uh, and then the, the superior is is made of the uh, cerebellar uh, tentorium cerebelli, and uh, in the lateral you can see number two is the uh, petrous part of the temporal bone and number three you can see the groove where uh, the uh, transverse sinus sits and also in the green uh, part on both sides uh, the cerebellum uh, is sitting there. Uh, the lower part of the uh, fossa is being made by the uh, foramen magnum and part of the uh, oxygen. On the lower slide you can see uh, the shift of the left uh, of the fourth ventricle uh, to the right and you can see the tumor uh, in the figure. Uh, we, we had a case where the patient was given uh, methodicane for uh, occipital nerve block and he developed problems, uh, he lost of consciousness. We said before and then we discovered later on from his that he had a previous occipital surgery where the bone was removed, so he was susceptible to the toxicity of the locus. Nowadays we have what we call fatty acid based uh, by degradation polymers. These are special preparations which last for a long time. Uh, it, 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 it uses, it utilizes the uh, pubic cane in such a capsule. It's released during one week uh, and, and, and whenever you use 10% of such a preparation, uh, its block can last for uh, 30 uh, hours in uh, vivo in mice. Uh, the picture, upper picture is, 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 uh, is exposing uh, the uh, ultrasonic block of the occipital nerve. And with, uh, whenever we use the Doppler color, we can see, we, we, we identify the occipital uh, artery. 
And uh, on the lower uh, screen, you can see the complications in the posterior fossa from a paper which, uh, which shows that there are many complications following up uh, such a surgery that they are up to that only 27% point 26 only uh, are spared from any uh, complications. Um, our candidate will be using uh, the student test and he will use the uh, uh, Matt Whitney's test and he will use the, uh, uh, the ANOVA test and, uh, and lastly he will use what we call the uh, chi-squared uh, chi test. The first test, as you see, uh, is, this is a nice, uh, really, video uh, of the first time to, to begin to understand st statistics from Mr. Anderson, as you see from the picture. Uh, he began to, uh, to, to, to show uh, what's the meaning of student test and how do we do uh, a, a, a test uh, figuring and then later on how to do uh, a test. So we have it. We has uh, we have a value, a, t, a, t, a value, and we have a t test. It began. Uh, the history began when uh, uh, Gosset, William Gosset, and from Dublin, uh, was being told to uh, made a statistic uh, between two uh, barley fields, and he wanted to know the yield of such fields. Uh, the, the company was Genis Brewery, يعني معناها خمارة, and he he wanted to. Uh, join or to share his results with other uh, statisticians, so they refused, so they uh, uh, re uh, reached to a conclusion or to a, a statement that they will uh, use what we call a student, uh, student test instead uh, of the gossip test. Uh, the, the, it, whenever I want to uh, compare the two fields, of course not all the fields, but a part of the fields, we get what we call a histogram as you see from the both sides, the blue one and the red one. Of course, the histogram has a mean, which is the largest among the, the, the group. And we have on the right side, uh, uh, the more the more than the mean, and on the left side, less than the mean. This is being applied on the two fields. So whenever I reach uh, this height of this histogram, I can uh, uh, draw, as you see, what we call a normal distribution. So whenever I have a normal distribution results, from a histogram of two uh, comparable uh, studies, uh, we, we can use the student test. You can see from the upper part of the slide what we call uh, the distribution curve. Distribution curve, as, as you see, has two tails on both sides. These two tails, the, 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 the sum of it is uh, around 5%. And the, the most of the, fair, the, of the curve under the curve is, uh, of course, 95%. Of course, we have a mean, and then we go away from the mean uh, by what we call standard uh, deviation. The more we, the more we have uh, 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 much standard deviation, the more the the the, the, the curve is being spreaded, being spreaded. So we can have a, 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 a curve like that. Uh, we have a, a, a mean, which we call it uh, mu, and we have a standard deviation, which is called sigma. And we have uh, both sides on the tail. Each of them is around, uh, all the, the, the sum of it is 50%. We call it alpha uh, range or the alpha scale. What does he, the, uh, the, uh, what, 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 do, what did, what did uh, Joseph, uh, William Joseph uh, uh, do? He, 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 he made a comparison between uh, both uh, uh, fields. Uh, reaching to what we call uh, the key value, which uh, in where he uh, uh, subtracted the, the most means of each us uh, from each uh, uh, part uh, in the uh, numerator, and in the denominator he made a difference between both uh, standard deviation and the numbers to reach to what we call the uh, key value. So after that he went to a conclusion, what we call a null hypothesis. A null hypothesis that we uh, 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 we can tell out of this experiment that there is no statistically difference. Nothing happened not, uh, between both of them. There is nothing uh, shown that makes a difference. Or uh, we can reject this null hypothesis uh, to, to say that uh, not, there is there is a differently a statistical uh, difference. 
Uh, our landmark, our, our uh, golden uh, uh, number is 0.5%, uh, uh, 0.05, uh, which is uh, uh, which is the most important point to understand in statistics. Uh, so that we may never we get a figure less than this figure, we can say that this uh, this uh, uh, comparative study is uh, really uh, stati st statistically uh, significant. Uh, so after he made uh, uh, the t uh, value. He went to uh, assume about uh, what we call the hypothesis, uh, whether to accept or to reject. And then he reached a special number from a special table. This table uh, is made of rows. Uh, it, 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 you reach the, the, the figure you want by uh, using the degrees of freedom and the magic uh, uh, 0.05 from the table. Whenever the both reach to a, a point, we uh, put this number on the side to put it in our mind. What's the meaning of degrees of freedom? Degrees of free, freedom, it, it, it is the difference between two groups minus uh, one of each. In other words, whenever I have, uh, suppose, 32 uh, results from, uh, from, uh, from uh, the field, uh, field and 32 from the other field, Whenever I subtract that, uh, that 32 from uh, from one of each, so we reach to 30. So we go to the table, and then we find uh, the line, the, the row where consent, contains the uh, point, the magic point 0.05%, uh, 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 meeting the, uh, uh, the degree of freedom. So at this point, this point is called the critical value. We compare, it, we compare it with the result we had before. So if it is less than it, the comparative study between both groups are statistic. So we, can, we, 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 we reject what we call the null hypothesis. In other words, there is a difference between the means of both and the spreading of the curve in both of the two fields. The other uh, type of, uh, of, uh, of statistic is what we call chi-square test. As you see, the chi is the uh, 22 alphabet of the uh, Greek uh, uh, language. And uh, as you see, it looks like an X, but uh, one of the, uh, of the lines drawing the X is being uh, curved. And as you see, it's, uh, it is uh, squared. It equals this, this figure, what we, we call it the sum. Uh, it is the difference between the observed and the expected in the uh, numerator. The denominator uh, contains the expected. What do you mean by that? Suppose, suppose I have a coin and I'm going to flip the coin. I'm going to flip the coin. So you put in your mind that most probably I will, I will. Uh, so I'm going to do it 50. Suppose 50 times. So I'm, I will. Most probably I will get a 25 uh, head and 25. Uh, is what you uh, expect, but whenever you go to the experiment and do do it uh, uh, several times, 50 times, definitely will, will you reach to a figure which is not a, a 25, 25. So these figures have been plotted in this equation and to reach to a number. This number, this number through a, 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 a table can reach to whether with a, suppose we had at the end result, my, I, 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 I made it 50 times and I had, uh, suppose, 24 tails and uh, uh, the rest of the 50 is being uh, the heads. And is it this statistical in comparison to, 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 to the expected or not? So we, we reach from this equation to a number. This number is being taken from a table. That from this table, you can reach to the, the magic uh, point of uh, five, where you can say this this uh, this difference between the expectation and the observed is it significant or not significant. Lastly, the ANOVA test, which is a test whenever I want to compare between more than two groups. You see, uh, as you see on the right side, the three groups with the three results. Uh, the point the point that we have a mean. Each of the or each of the uh, rows has a, spe a special a special mean, and meanwhile, uh, of course, uh, 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 and meanwhile we have also a mean of the sum. 
in other words, that we have uh, uh, nine figures and we have uh, the, the, we collect or we we, we sum the, the nine uh, figures and we divide by nine to reach to the, what we call the grand mean. As you written, it's two bars above this x, but the mean is one bar, only one bar on the six. This is the point where we can get the uh, grand mean and the mean. In other words, also, I'm sorry, in, 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 in addition, I, I, had, I have to know uh, the degrees of, of freedom. There is a uh, degrees of a freedom, a freedom between the groups and within the groups. So the degree of freedom of the three, I, uh, there are three groups, so I, I, I subtract three from one, we have a, a, a two. And within the groups, there are uh, nine, uh, there are how many figures? There are nine figures. Uh, so I, uh, I subtract the nine figures from the two, I reach to uh, six, and uh, I reach, f f uh, I, 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 so I reach two numbers, two and six. We go to uh, special tables, and we, uh, we, uh, we, 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 we match the two uh, on the, on the, suppose on the, on the, on the, uh, the upper row, and then on the transverse row, we, we put the six, the two will reach uh, to find this number. I must put it in, in my mind. Uh, after that, I go through uh, uh, maybe uh, f uh, five steps, putting uh, in my mind that there is what we call uh, uh, the null hypothesis, where the three means are equal. As you see, the mean is written mu. Mu is uh, by, by hieroglyph or hieroglyphic language means water. It's been taken from the old Egyptians. So this is the null hypothesis. Uh, whenever the three means are equal, if they are not we, uh, 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 equal, I reject this null hypothesis. And then we have the magic uh, critical uh, value, which is 0.05. It's it's written alpha, as you see uh, from uh, the figure. Uh, on the left side, number three in the step number three, you can see how he's figuring, figuring uh, the mean and the grand mean, and then he takes uh, each of the uh, figures uh, to get the sum, as you see, uh, from the three groups, and he goes through uh, figures to reach finally to a number. This number is going to be compared to the number he uh, extracted from the table where six meets two, and whenever it's less than uh, the magic point uh, oh five, definitely there is a statistical difference between the three group. I hope that I reached uh, what I want. Uh, I thank, of course, uh, Mr. Anderson. He was the first one uh, to follow, to understand the meaning of, uh, of statistics. Uh, I had to know the, from the first beginning, and, but, uh, but, but, but I, was, I was escaping to, 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 to try to know uh, about statistics. But finally, alhamdulillah, that I reached to the, uh, the YouTube where I uh, find uh, Mr. And, uh, Anderson. Uh, so I thank him much. وَرَبِّنَا الْمُوَفَّقُ وَإِنْشَاءَ اللَّهِ نِتْقَابِلُ قَرِيبًا Well, this is the way I want to, 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 to represent the way of discussing a thesis. First of all, I, I, I'm going to show the discussion without, in, 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 instead of talking page by page, uh, 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 by slide. And then after I finish the discussion, I'm going to uh, add what's new about the points, what's new about the occipital uh, uh, block in uh, Pursuit Fossa, so that we can enjoy the, 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 the talk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.